All right, guys, it's Adam with Whisker Fisherman TV. Back at it again, back on the Potomac. Um, it's another spot I've had some pretty good luck on. My bells have been going off a little bit. You see them? I sure hope that's a big old catfish. It's about 7.30. I've been out here about an hour, maybe a little less, but about an hour. I'm going to stick here maybe another half hour. Change my casting a little bit. Might move a heavier rod a little farther upstream. If nothing hooks up, I'm going to go ahead and move to another spot. It's a nice overcast day. I'm actually seeing some pretty decent fish activity. Just had one splash right about where one of my rods was casted a minute ago. Didn't have a lot of cut bait available, so I'm actually running squid on that rod. <laughs> Shrimp was a little too expensive, so I figured I'd give squid a try. I don't know. It seems like it should work, but it's definitely not something these fish are used to seeing. I've got some stuff splashing around here in front of me some smaller stuff I'm hoping that you know the fish are just out feeding it it the temperature has dropped a good 20 degrees we were pushing 90 now I doubt if we're in 70s right now currents not too bad we had some rain last night I'm sure that cooled the water off But it, it's springtime, they're moving, they're in there. We just gotta find them. All right, guys, well, I moved spots. I said I was seeing fish activity, but nothing hooking up, so no point in waiting around. Moved down here. Got a little bit more room to work with. Got a couple snags I can play with. Um, this is a pretty good spot. See, I've caught a number of fish here. And I'm seeing plenty of fish activity right through here, too, so. Small fish is what big fish eat, so. <laughs> That's what we're looking for. One of my Abu Garcia Catfish Commando. And that guy on Dead Minis. And I've got him casted. If you guys can see it. Just on the end of that snag. And I know fish like to hang out in there. I've got my newest rod, the Berkeley E Cat. I'm going to do a review on that after I've used it for a while. Right now it's, it's working pretty good. It's a heavy, heavy rod. I'm going to have to make some sinkers to fit it really right now I'm throwing out maybe four ounces I feel like I'd be much more comfortable with a six ounce lead on that I'm running him on cut bait about half a chub nice good sized chub I usually tear them up pretty good too 
See him jump? <laughs> Maybe a fish. And then my other Abu Garcia. I've got him just plunked out off the shore. There's another down log right there. I'm just a little ways past that. I'm actually running that on squid. So, uh, you know, I mentioned before, i not sure how well squid's going to work, but I bought it. I typed in squid for bait on YouTube. People do use it for fresh water and salt water, so it's kind of a backup bait. This week I'll be spending a lot of time bait fishing. I can tell you that. <laughs> but, uh, in the meantime, got three rods out. I've got a good spot. It's This is a pretty good little spot. See it's formed a bit of a lagoon here. Sometimes they're laying in here, sometimes they're not. I'm hoping today they are. If you guys can make that out, that's a bald eagle right there. That's pretty cool. See him? There he goes. Look at that guy, that's pretty cool. I don't know if I'm gonna catch anything today, but that was pretty cool. I think I saw five last year. That's my first one this year. That's pretty cool. 